In this video, I'll be going over four different ways that you can get into the real estate market here in Dubai. If you know anything about Dubai, you will know that it is one of the last tax havens in the world that does not feel like a tax haven. I mean, we have the largest building in the world, the tallest, the biggest mall, everything. Here in Dubai, there is the best of the best and a lot of people want to invest here because the tourism industry is what is simply driving this city. If you didn't know, Dubai is not from oil money. Abu Dhabi is. Dubai is from tourism money. And that's why owning real estate here in the UAE is an incredible opportunity, whether it's for personal use or for investment purposes. It's an incredible opportunity for you to make money. And of course, with any market, there is no guaranteed returns, but there is a way to put your eggs in a basket where you think it's going to go the furthest. So let's go over the four different ways you can get into the real estate market, starting off with number one, paying for the property in full. Now, this is the most straightforward way to buy a property. You can pay for it in cash. You can pay for it in crypto if you want it. You could pay for it with a bank transfer and a wire. Really, any method you want is acceptable here. And if it's not directly accepted, then there will be someone who can facilitate that. For example, with crypto, some people might not take crypto directly, but there are people who can facilitate this. Number two, you can buy real estate here through a payment plan. As the name suggests, it's a payment plan where it is planned over an X period of time with X payments. These payment plans do not have any interest and it's pretty clear what your payments are going to be in the future. that are basically like mortgage payments. Now, the best thing about payment plans is if you can't prove a stable income, well, in that case, you don't have to qualify for a payment plan. You just have to make your payment. So if you're a non-resident or a resident and you can't prove six months of statements from a job or from your business, well, then in that case, a payment plan is perfectly suitable for you. And if you do have a business here, well, then you'll need a lot more than six months. So it would be even better for you to get a payment plan. Now, I will say that the only issue with the payment plan is that now they're becoming less and less popular and they're very, very rare now. Why? Because the market here is so hot that they don't even have to provide payment plans for people to buy their developments. Like the market is so hot that people would just buy it straight up. So payment plans are getting very rare to find. One thing to note with a payment plan is you can pay with any payment method. Again, like paying, you can pay with anything you want. And you do have to keep in mind that there's usually a kind of deposit, not deposit, but there's usually kind of like a down payment at the start. So it can be five to 20% to even 25%, depending on the project. The third way to buy real estate in Dubai is the way you're probably thinking of with a mortgage. Getting a mortgage in the UE is something pretty popular. A lot of people get mortgages here. However, there is something very important to keep in mind. Number one, if you're a non-resident, then you need to know immediately that you will not be able to qualify for a large mortgage because you are a non-resident. You'll be limited to 50 to 60% at a maximum. But the good news is you can easily qualify for a mortgage by just providing statements from your own country. It doesn't have to be local statements. I mean, if you're a non-resident, then you can't have local statements or you don't have sufficient statements at all. So you would have to provide them from your home country, which is totally acceptable. So your down payment would be quite large, but if you are a resident here and you are employed by someone, then you can qualify for up to 80 to 85 percent of the property's value which is fantastic it's a huge mortgage gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of payment and you can pay this over 20 to 25 years i will say though if you are self-employed and you are an employee of your company then because you are a shareholder of your company you will not be able to qualify for a mortgage like if you were actually an employee of a company so that's very important to keep in mind and one more thing is if you're employed by your own company and you have a very high salary that does not match the market salaries and this might also be an issue for you to try to qualify for a mortgage let's say you're a manager and the average market salary for managers is forty thousand dirhams and your salary is three hundred thousand dirhams per month well in that case the bank is going to have a difficult time trying to allocate you a mortgage so if you were planning on setting up a business here what a lot of people suggest is actually to get a mortgage before you become a resident because it's easier in a lot of cases for someone to actually qualify for a mortgage as a non-resident compared to being self-employed. Not employed, but self-employed. And the last way to get into the real estate market here in Dubai or any Emirate is by subleasing properties. A lot of people think this is illegal. It is not illegal. It's only illegal if you do it without the consent of the landlord slash property owner. If you don't know what subleasing is, it's renting out a property and then renting it out to other people, usually at a higher rate. For example, let's say you rent a property out for 100,000 dirhams for the year and then you rent it out again on Airbnb 
and you net let's say 200,000 dirhams in that year well 200,000 minus the price you paid 100,000 you're left with 100,000 minus let's say some expenses and whatever but I said net so just to keep it simple you make 100k profit that's what subleasing is now I will say that personally for me this is a risky way to get into the market because if your property doesn't get rented out well then you're gonna have to pay the rent payments which are usually higher than the mortgage payments but if you can't get a mortgage then you kind of have no other options and this is why number four is sub leasing not my preferred way to get into the market but hey if you can find something where you can arbitrage effectively well you can make a lot of money doing this and i know a lot of people are making money doing this and honestly we'll have to see how this moves forward in the future because there's a lot of creators posting content about this and i'm really excited to see how their journey goes so those were the four different ways to get into the real estate market here in dubai let me know what you think down below what would be your method to get started in the real estate market here and if you've already invested how did you get started let us know